I can also just throw a frag and just hope it hits it. Because if it hits it, I get XP. And I can tell that way. If it's dead. But the, I just, the problem is I don't know where it is. It's in the house. Or like in the vicinity of the house. I just don't know where. So much planning to just to kill a single bug. Uh, in a yeah, no, game. if it was, it, you know, if it was a raider, I'd just walk in with a shotgun. It specifically bugs that I would just walk in. But this enemy that is way weaker than it, I can't stand. <laughs> okay. Yeah, just, so if just I shoot once, Tosh. Yeah, just I have to figure out where it is. Mm -hmm. If I shoot again, does it should move more? Oh. Where is it? Is it inside that thing? Is it inside that, like, shed that has no angles on it? Please don't tell me it's in that shed. <laughs> Do I just bite the bullet? I, I might have to bite the bullet. Oh no! And watch it as the ten stages of grief starts to settle in. Please. Where could it possibly be? Okay, it's not in there. No hit mark. It's probably in that shed. I, I feel like I would have seen it by now if it was in the house. I'm gonna pull it over Seer's Guardian, because that thing will, like, shred. It's the highest DPS thing I have. <laughs> There's still an enemy. Fuck. Please hit it. I set off a trap with that grenade, apparently, but I didn't get an enemy. It's not- is it like, sitting on the back of the house, so I have to go all the way around the lake to get an angle on it? I'm gonna do it. I would rather go across the entire lake than fight that thing in close quarters. Like, I could- I could just one-shot it, it, like, if I walked in, hit V, and then just click, it would die. But I don't want to do that. Just, just slam a fat man in there. Oh, I want oh. to, but oh. I don't. I would hit it because I don't know where it is. I just know it's in there somewhere. I can Watch only guess. I, I would, if I had Euclid C fine from like Fallout New Vegas, I would just like hit the, hit the place. Hell yeah, brother. Oh, no. Why are there- why is the entire mosquito population of the East Coast- Why is the entire mosquito population of the East Coast here? Why is this one stretch of land the entire mosquito population of the East Coast? I spend way too many resources dealing with bugs. Because, because uh, you're pussy uh, out. Yeah, pretty much. Oh. I was thinking I like get that, scared. But... Have you have you dealt with the uh, bug? What bug? No. Oh, you're still doing I'm it. in the process. You know, I'm in the process of. Uh, Flanking the... Flanking the boathouse. Wait, I could've went north instead of the long... I, I took the long way by accident. Oh well. That's going stealthy. I mean, it'll let me discover more stuff, I guess. Actually, don't I have a quest to do around? For the real around? <laughs> yeah! Yeah, it's, you went north because you had a quest. No, I mean... Oh, yeah, I, ha I can grab a dead drop. While I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> Killing that bot took so long, the man decided to do side quests. No, I'm not gonna do- it's not that I'm gonna do it instead, it's just I'm in the area, and it's not like I fast travel, so I'm gonna take advantage of being here. There's a sentiment I marked on your map, and these are help. This place is so much more calming 
I know there's like very little bugs here. All right, back to the the quest to liberate that boathouse from the one bug. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. What is going on over here? Is that a railway rifle? I do not want to deal with that sentry bot. Man, what did I walk into? I hope not, it's not bugs. I just wanted okay. to kill the one bug and now I'm in like World War 3. And my last save is at Sanctuary because that's the last bet I was at. <laughs> two, bu two bugs, one wanderer. Why did they have to give me rust devils? Of all things that could have just spawned, it had to be the one thing. I'm not well equipped for! Now I have to do the whole trek again. You know, maybe I don't want to go there. I'll have to do it eventually though. Where's Dogman? Oh, he's in Hangman's out. Uh. You're gonna go get the uh, dog meat just so, like, uh, he can go inside the house. Yeah, because that'll bait out the blood bug to go to a window. <laughs> and then I can shoot them through the window. I honestly can't tell if you're doing a bit at this point. No, I am genuinely that scared. <laughs> oh, don't, don't hug me. Since I feel like you would know, does Skyrim also have like a third party application in order to, um, uh, for modding in order to modify, uh, character appearance? I don't know. What? Like Body Slide or some shit. Uh, oh, yeah, it's got Body Studio and Outfit Studio. You mean, like, specifically for, like, the Goonery mods? Is it specifically for those? I mean, that's what people use it for. I guess, There's, like, but an in-game character builder that's pretty reasonable. Yeah, but Body I feel like- Bodyslide is when you make, like, wacky presets, and then you need all your outfits to get built for them. Yeah, but I feel like that's not only used for- I feel like that's also just used for fucked up there stuff may, by, there like, was... people. Maybe, like, one person once did that, but it's... It's almost all for goonery. Well, yeah, but it's, like, Skyrim modding when is that like uh not paid a builds but like it, it's truly like... unfortunate how, <laughs> how that's like a requirement <laughs> to do so <laughs> like the framework for that is built on one thing in mind and then everyone else built off of that for whichever purpose so yeah. whenever you want to change anything like your entire friends list is like why do you have this mod <laughs> no, it's like how I just want to have normal, cool-looking, like, yeah. shirts, but then the yeah. shirt has a required dependency of yeah. the mod that re- You will, you- <laughs> Guys, yeah. you don't- You will, you CBBE. Guys, <laughs> you don't understand, I need that 12-inch cock. Yeah. <laughs> what? It's a required dependency for the CCP shirt. <laughs> um, what? <laughs> Okay, no, like, I, I do feel that, though, because, like, half the outfit mods in, um, like, in, uh, like, New Vegas and 4, especially 4, are like, oh yeah, no, you, we want this framework. Especially 4, because, like, the, uh, they build it with, like, the outfit thing in mind, like, the outfit. Yeah, exactly, because you get so much more control over it, I yeah. think you can get a better... Like, yeah, so product. they built... Yeah, so they build it around that frame in mind. It's like, oh, you don't want this? Well, sorry. I'll... It sucks to suck. You will download CBBE. <laughs> I remember for uh, Skyrim, when I had a stepdad, one of his mods was, uh... It was... Oh my gosh, what can I think of it? So... Bro is really in, like, uh, the no games. Without clothes, they'll have like that underwear preset on mm -hmm. or something. Did he have the nude setup yeah, for it? The, yeah, just nude. So he just, he just installed CBBE. Yeah, probably <laughs> gooning, but 
To be fair, that is a required dependency. Okay, cool but notes. wait, wait, Leif, do you not have the versions that, like, have it covered? An option for CVVE? There... So the thing is, there is an option when you download it to pick which of the nude models you want. Yeah, there's like a covered one, isn't there? Yeah, but it doesn't work very well. Most things, again, are really. designed with the intent of <laughs> a specific uh, preset. Yeah, but Define doesn't work very well. Um, people make outfits assuming the characters will be nude, so when they aren't nude, there's a lot of, like, model clipping and, like, Z fighting with them. How does that work, though? Because, like... Have you killed the bug? I died, so I have to go all the way back. <laughs> <laughs> so I have to kill all of them again. Oh god. And I'm probably gonna miss one again. <laughs> because it's gonna be in some stupid spot. <laughs> and I didn't dog meat because he's in Hangman's Alley. Just way further. It could be just pee. It's made by- there's four ingredients. I so it mean, can't be. Strong did say it tastes like peace. I mean it's water, ammonia. <laughs> it heals more than water. It heals you for 50. Water heals Who let the deezer cook? Who let the pods out? Who? <laughs> Anyways, it's time to go back to my worst nightmare, Taffington Boathouse. Finally, it's been ages. Well, yeah. This is survival. I move around slowly. My Taffington Boathouse settlement got 90 happiness, somehow. <laughs> How could anyone be happy in Taffington Boathouse? That place has like the entire the entire population of the East Coast Mosquito. Uganda? Every um. mos like half the mosquitoes of Massachusetts are in Taffington Boathouse. It is like my personal hell. That place was made to get me unhappy. So it begins. Do any caravans go this way, or do I have to like take these guys out? Stalin, I think you should have just uh, grabbed dog meat. I should have. I can always go to Hangman's Alley and come back. Or just, I don't think you understand how far away Hangman's Alley is. I'm here, right? Hangman's Alley is all the way down here. I mean, I understand. I, I will still advise you to just grab him. Like, what oh, are yeah, gonna, no, what if, are if, gonna if do the with the other companions had... anyway? Like, they're all, they're all garbage compared to dog meat. Well, the main reason they suck compared to dog meat is because dog meat doesn't count as a companion, so you get to keep Lone Wander, oh, which nice. is a comically broken skill. <laughs> My skin actually crawls when fighting it in this game. Thank god I have a suppressor, otherwise I would be alerting, like, the entire east coast population of mosquitoes. I cannot stress how many are in this, like, small strip. And on top of that, they're also starting to spawn gradually higher level ones. You know what, maybe I should take dog meat. Yeah, you should. Hopefully I won't run into that one random encounter again. Uh, what's that random encounter? Uh, the one where I get jumped by 70 robots. I oh wish I could God. have someone just like take over my game for a short amount of time to clear out Taffington Boathouse. Yeah, just just install TeamSpeak and I'll, I'll handle it. <laughs> <laughs> nah. I have to face my fears and get over it myself. So I can grow as a person. How, like, how much better Discord experience was compared to TeamSpeak. No, on yeah, mobile, yeah. it's... It's, it's on, a little bit 
think mobile like Discord kind of stuff. Like, the that Microsoft application, whatever the fuck that was called. Skype. Yeah, it was Skype. Yeah, remember when people used Skype? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> By the way, uh, if you're curious, yes, I did pick a sniper build just so I could create as much distance between me and insects as possible. Oh. Yummy, I'm so full of console baby two updates. Oh, yeah, uh, I have no idea why they do that. And the hunting oh. rifle, it looks fucking disgusting. A left handed rifle, uh, yeah, left handed bolt rifle. Um, they the exist. Is really, really dumb. Yeah, they do exist. He's just using it wrong. Yeah, it's because ever, ever, it, you use a weapon right handed, but they're all designed to be left handed. Right handed yeah. weapons are way more mass produced than left handed ones. Yeah, true. Maybe the person who made it That's... was left-handed and just didn't think about it. Uh, uh, that oh, kind of yeah, yeah. reminds me for the Far Cry 3. In Far Cry, in Far Cry 3, the guns are also left-handed because Jason has a... The main character has a, a tattoo on his left arm. So they animated the guns left-handed so you can see the tattoo uh, as much as possible. I don't know what Fallout 4 has though. Well, it's it's the institute. No, oh yeah, it's the institute. <laughs> the they can't let the super mutants go. <laughs> I mean, it's like the Brotherhood. It's like such an iconic part of what makes Fallout that they just force it into everything they can. Yeah, if only they made something new and good, like the Legion. <laughs> it, I mean, they 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 at least made some like all right factions, like the Railroad, that are new. Well, I guess uh, new in quotation marks. They were in three, but. I don't know. They weren't the developed at all. Is, the railroad is better than the institute, but not by much. The institute is like stupid. They're just enclave, but dumb. Yeah. I don't really understand we're, 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 why we're, the we're brothers are like. We're making like, such a big problem for no fucking of reason. The, the faction. And it's like why why give those robots free will? Like it's just, it's just playing God for the sake <laughs> of playing God. Just My tell them to tell them to pick that up. Have infinite sims because they need metal. I don't know how much they have. Didn't no, they say they no, were like running low or something? It is infinite. No, or not, I don't or not the metal. metal. Yeah. Well, didn't they have like electricity issues or something? I don't know. I don't think so. Maybe I've never actually done an institute quest line, but it's possible. But still, they have enough resources and a high enough level of technology that they could instantly take over it, like fucking Diamond City, people wearing leather. <laughs> yeah, they could do that. Well, they, I, think, I think the... I think, like, this snake-like behavior of the Institute comes from is because, like, they're not fighters. Uh, also, I to be fair, can. it is... It is hard to control a, a place at gunpoint forever. Yeah. Maybe, but, like, I still think it's a better idea than just replacing a couple people and doing, like, almost nothing. And other times they just replace random wastelanders. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that is. Some guy and his dog. <laughs> hey, to be fair, they are trying to play for the long game, because theoretically they have infinite time. But then the Brotherhood Maybe. show up, and then they but... no longer have infinite time. I don't get why, like... What? The Brotherhood has such like a big presence on. Yeah, no, that was just no, no. The, the reasoning Fallout is very 3, simple. In in Fallout Three, yeah. Todd just magically said, "Yeah, the Brotherhood made a massive yeah. expedition to yeah. the other yeah, side the, of the wasteland well, for no fucking reason." Uh, no, the reasoning is very <laughs> simple. Uh, they they were doing like a uh, they were like treading new ground with the game, and they were wanted it to go well, so they took who was recognizable already and just forced the reason for them to exist. The answer is supposed to be like a new faction. Like it was supposed to be like the first game or something, but like in three D originally. Just ripping all this stuff. <laughs> it's kind of both, I guess. Yeah. Uh, I think I think <laughs> uh, I think at least like Fallout Three is like more of a love letter than the <clears throat> more of a love letter than the actual 
more like a ripping off kind of thing. Mostly because like Fallout 3 has like so much stuff in it. Like someone like willingly created all of that. And like if you if you hate something mm. you can't go that level. Yeah sure Harold. Yeah sure Harold be being there is kinda of fucking weird, but there is also like at least like few good quests. Like there is definitely some passion in the game. Like you can definitely feel that when you play it. Oh yeah. I'm not a part of, like, the New Vegas crowd that thinks anything that Bethesda has made is garbage and slop and worthless and a sin. I, I like <laughs> also, the Bethesda speaking, fallouts. Speaking of average New Vegas fan, uh, I've noticed a very interesting rule. Anything good New Vegas did is because of Obsidian. Anything bad they did was because of Bethesda. Obsidian can clearly yeah. do no wrong. Yeah. A lot of Vegas fans really like to absolve all sins of Obsidian and make it Bethesda's fault. Like, how they blame the timeline on Bethesda when I'm pretty sure Obsidian said it. Um, like, not, not, like, who cares about the timeline and shit? Yeah, I, I don't know, the, like the retconning. The, 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 the publisher the being the... TV show, I don't know, honestly, like, the Honestly, like, the publisher being the scapegoat is, like, so common at these points. Like, it's just not even funny anymore. Not just in Fallout, yeah. but like in Payday, in GTA, it's it's all the same fucking thing. It's always publisher. Yeah, it's I still absolutely love New Vegas and think it's probably the best Fallout. But like, it probably not is the perfect. best Fallout as an RPG. Yeah, I yeah. feel like there's an argument that Fallout Four is better in a lot of ways. But if you're like and... going for an RPG, New Vegas is the best. If yeah, you take prefer. unmodded into consideration, I think Fallout 4 wins just because New Vegas is kind of a mess because it's old and buggy and whatnot. If you take yeah. modded into consideration, I prefer New Vegas much, much more. Well, well, yeah, but Bethesda's uh, Morrowind slash Skyrim house style translated into the Fallout series. Uh, I they, I feel like I don't, the... I don't think like they are trying to do trying to make an RPG. It's just like. Uh, they have yeah. this very cool IP with, like, imagery and shit, and they just, like, translating their own style onto it. Yeah. Honestly, I think Fallout 3 has a worse story than 4. 4's story mm. is bad, but 3's is a mess. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 3 is Give me that code now. bad. You, you have to find your dad. <laughs> I am disappointed in you, son. The you have to find your dad. Disappointed. Found your dad. Oh no, your <laughs> dad is dead. <laughs> My name is Fallout Colonel Honor. I need a code now. Fallout 3, find your dad. Fallout 4, find your son. You have to sacrifice yourself. <laughs> they, they, they changed that with a fucking DLC. I remember they making it headlines. Yeah, it's a shame too that they didn't include that in the first place, because you can just bring a super mutant which is immune to radiation and he'll say no. <laughs> no yeah, no he, he, yeah, like he just straight up says, this is your fate, fucko. Uh, you must die. Like, it is so counterproductive to the game as well, because like Fallout 3 is a game where like you can literally go anywhere that's like programmed into the game and you know okay. they gave to you be... so, they gave you this much freedom and it's like uh, now you have to okay. die now <laughs> to, yeah. to be entirely fair a lot of themes of fallout 3 story is sacrifice they just fucked up telling the story <laughs> and war war never changes Moves i also kid. like that the robot refuses <laughs> <laughs> No, that's that's the thing though. No, that's so stupid when you bring that up because I think of one of the endings where you literally make a, a Mr. Gutsy to like save the uh, purification plant. Oh, yeah, that's in Broken Steel. That's the big thing Broken Steel did. It made it so you can actually ask your companions to do it. And then the game, because they didn't program, or not program, they didn't make another slide for it, the game still calls you an idiot. <laughs> or why? What did you do? Oh, because it uses the same ending slide for, um, if you make Sarah do it, or whatever her name is, the yeah, other one. I love, I love, no, I love the Hick Sergeant Gutsy do it. I love it. It's why, so funny. Why do they call you an idiot? Uh, they berate you for not sacrificing yourself <laughs> for no reason. <laughs> Uh, 
child was not as selfless as the father's. I love the mosquitoes. Blood sack. He's vibrating. Oh, he's. Why do they just do that? <laughs> he's just flying. Their AI is very stupid. They just fly into walls a lot. Well, no, that guy was just chilling in place because he was like uh, out of combat and hidden. Was he? I thought he was flying into the wall. No, he was just fl he was flying in place. He was like hovering. Oh. I mean, that's their AI weird does happen. I mean, yeah. Usually they sit on the wall, but I alerted him yeah, earlier. Yeah, I think it's I think it's because they didn't make an animation for them going back onto the wall. Yeah, I alerted them earlier, so. I am not hitting that wing. That is moving way too fast. Cathedrals are definitely more scary, but I the mm -hmm. blood bugs freak me out more. I don't mean visually. I mean like in terms of how tanky they are, because Cazadors are, like, near no, death pool. Yeah, no, but I mean, like, Cazadors, you can just, like, sh** the legs on, and, like, they're neutered. These the guys... Legs, I mean the wings. Oh, yeah, the wings, that's what I meant. The, okay, the thing about Fallout 4, uh, bugs, is their AI behaves a lot more like a bug, if you get what I mean. They move yeah, around yeah. all erratically and shit. Oh, God. Oh, that's a Red Widow. I'm I'm really scared of fighting that Red Widow because uh, the second I shoot, I think the only uh, rifle that I actually like to look of in four is the handmade rifle because it's just a oh, shovel. Yeah, like the, the, the the reason I'm like scared is because uh, my best weapon is going to alert the entire population of this area, which is super dense. With blood bugs. Maybe just like run around and try to find a bed and then go for it. Well, yeah, no, it's like. It, it's not that I'm scared of dying, I'm scared of the enemy. Like, I, I, I genuinely do not want to be close to them. Just go for it, come on. Because it, it makes me uncomfortable. You gotta rip the band aid off, you gotta fight all of them at once. No, I can <laughs> snipe from the windows. I can snipe from the windows. Most of them end up sitting by the windows, and I am running a sniper build. Just pull out your anti-material rifle and shoot him. I don't want to use Overseer's Guardian because it's unsuppressed. Don't also, wait, he just landed! Up. Yeah, no, he just landed. Oh, yeah. Sometimes oh, I land. They do have an animation. That's cool. Okay. So the Sometimes... AI is just weird. Yeah, sometimes I just don't want. Yeah, oh, I, I don't missed. Like anything long and spindly. Same. If he comes out of the house, I'm just critting him. I don't care. Oh, yeah, it's fine. You'll get more crits. Oh, was that blood bug always on that wall? Maybe it didn't land. Hmm. Although, to be fair, a lot of the reason why the guns look good in New Vegas is because they're just direct translations from real life into the game. Yeah, I like think the... Fallout 4 tried going more for like a Fallout 1 aesthetic. Yeah, yeah. and they didn't do very well. I think the hunting rifle looks alright. Uh, yeah, sniper. I guess the hunting rifle. But the hunting rifle just looks like a nondescript bolt action. Well, yeah, I guess. So does the combat rifle. It looks like the most plain and uninteresting gun I've ever seen. I think it's funny the combat rifle and the combat shotgun look like near identical. I'm pretty sure they're like almost entirely the same model. Which is weird because they're drastically different calibers. One is chambered in 12 gauge and the other is chambered in fucking 45. I mean that would explain why the magazine is like two. <laughs> Maybe, but... It's w aren't the magazines like how, almost how the same the, size too? How the fuck? Yeah, that's what the I mean. rifle is chambered. Hold in on, I, I, ha I have one of each. Yeah, I don't know, but yeah, it's chambered in forty-five. Even it's supposed to be a submachine gun. Well, so but not. Why they're they calling it <laughs> rifle? I don't know. It, I I think they modeled it after a bar too, which is weird because the bar is full power. You can modify the combat rifle to use 308. 
Yeah. You can, and that makes more sense, but it's weird that 45 okay. is the default. Alright, let's see. So this is the Overseer's Guardian rifle. This boathouse is actually my worst enemy, and it's my nemesis. I don't know why with their guns in Fallout 4, half the time they don't try at all and just make something really bland and boring looking, and the other half of the time they whip up some monstrosity like the assault rifle, just mashing bits together. What was that? What what exploded? I think a it's blood bug set off. That they that. didn't use the R91, which is the assault rifle in three. It's just a 5.56 G3 with wood furniture. It looks good. I don't know. You could just use the crits. I don't want to use it on a Red Widow that is on one health that hasn't seen me yet. Just like I, I want to use them in emergencies. Grenades. No, there's a lot of there's a lot of them. I don't want to approach too closely. I'm just gonna keep sniping. Bug. I I intend to once I get rid of all of the ones I can see from the windows. Because <laughs> there's some because there's some I couldn't see from the windows last time, and by some I mean like one. There you go. You see, this is why you should get a fat man. I don't have the weight for that though. Uh, survival has weight like New Vegas Hardcore, right? Guess how much a mini nuke is. Uh, I think in, four, er, in New Vegas it's like five. Twelve. Ooh. Missiles are seven. Dead. Oh, I killed them all. I killed them all. Yeah. Congratulations. I timed it and it was 33 minutes. That was impressive. <laughs> Must be world record. I I'll, build, I'll, I'll, I'll build a bed here so I can save. What a wonderful bedroom. Didn't even put it inside. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I don't want to go in there on the off chance there is just like some weirdo bug. stuff there. Yeah, bug. I don't want to see the bug. It, yeah, Tappington Boathouse doesn't even say cleared. I am so paranoid. There's probably like one bug somewhere. I, it's, in, it's in the shed. It must be in the shed. Yeah, I think it is in the shed. Maybe. Are you going to clear wait, out oh, the shed? Oh, wait, I think I know what happened. Last time I threw a grenade into the shed and um, it set off a trap, but it didn't hit the mosquito. But this time I think the trap went off on its own because the mosquito ran into it because I saw like an explosion on the top of the roof. So I think it killed itself. Oh, that's good. It didn't like how it looked either. Uh, I don't know. There might be. I think it's the minute. Let me search it up. Cool. I haven't played... Last minute? I gen... If I'm being honest, I have not played a lot of this game. Like I've the last played a lot of it. But not a lot of it, if you get what I mean. Yeah, like, I have 250 hours, but 240 of them was when I was, like, 12. And I just TCL'd over the entire map because I was scared of bugs. I have... Uh... 1,700 yeah. hours. Like, me vatsing them at 20 meters is a big improvement over how I used to treat them. Getting over your fear. Yeah, also, no, the gradual. last minute is not two shot, it's limb damage. So I think two shot, you have to um, farm legendaries. Like, I used to be scared of Fallout 3 Radroach. That's how bad it was. I got over it in 3 in New Vegas, and 4 I mean, to be, to be fair, like the, the quote unquote lore, or like, their attacks are kind of scary. They're shooting maggots into you. Yeah. I can handle looking at them now in um, in uh, four, and I can bats kill them, but I I can't handle feel, getting hit by them. How do you feel about Casadors? I got over them. Uh, as soon as I shoot their wings, I'm chilling. Yeah, no, they, yeah. As soon as you yeah. learn, you can just shoot the wings. They become a lot less threatening when they just run around I, on the I floor like, like a normal enemy. Yeah, no, I don't think it's a bad thing. Like, I, I don't think that's a bad thing. Oh, oh, you don't think it's a bad thing, okay. Yeah. 
honestly, it's great when like a really threatening enemy can be taken out and made relatively harmless if you just know where they are first and know where to shoot. Kill the Enclave. The Enclave are also in the fucking TV show. No way they're in the TV. Are they at least just remnants, no. or are they back? Well, it's not really explained, but they are in the... It's a pretty big facility, so they might just oh, okay. be back. I, I, because I was hope. Okay, to be entirely hopeful, the the bunk, the remnant bunker was a fairly big facility, unless we're talking like a Raven Rock type. I mean, scale. like it looked like an entire base, and they it was like fully stocked with people. So, oh, it's a Raven Rock situation. I think so. I understand the Enclave are marketable, but, like, they've reached their end story-wise twice. Yeah, there's nothing else interesting. I don't even... They reached their, like, end story-wise in Fallout 2. In 3, they yeah. were just back. And then they died again. <laughs> also, on, the to on that topic, please tell me the Enclave isn't in 76. I understand they uh, forced the BOS. They are. The they are. Oh my no, god! They are a prominent faction in 76. Oh <laughs> my 70, god! 76 has every single faction known to Fallout universe. It's just and a they thing. just killed them off already! The Brotherhood is also there. I know the yeah. Brotherhood are there already, yeah. but like... The uncle... Can they just kill them off already? ...as prominent. So it's not yeah. that bad. Also, enough time is... Not changing. It's just there's. They don't really elaborate on why they changed in Fallout Three to Four. It's just the Brotherhood is completely different now. Why? Mm. <laughs> Xdd. <laughs> okay. To to be fair, what was the time difference between Fallout One uh, and Fallout Two? I don't even think it's that long. Here, let me search for uh, uh, Counterpoint New Vegas. Takes takes in roughly the same uh, same time frame, I think. And Brotherhood is still isolation. It's there, so it's just the East Coast. Okay, no. The, to, to be fair, as well, they just lost a fucking war. It's a ten year time difference. Fallout and Fallout Two is ten years. I thought that was way no, more. no. Not Fallout One and Fallout Two. Fallout um, Three and Four. Fallout 1 and Fallout 2 is, like, 60 years. Yeah, no, that makes sense to have, like, a complete change of your organization in that time frame. Yeah, absolutely. From Fallout 3 to Fallout 4, it's just everyone is different now. The weird thing, too, is that there's only, like, a couple recurring characters. And guess what? People don't live, uh, don't live for 200 fucking years. Yeah, and Tandy yeah. looks like an actual, like, I don't know, even. Fossil. Mm-hmm. Ragged bones. To your bones. <laughs> On the West Coast? But for some reason, they're the minority. They're like a tiny little faction called the Outcasts, while the majority of the Brotherhood is instead, uh, like, not the Brotherhood. Yeah. They, they, they take over Pentagon as, like, a knights in shining armor kind of thingy, with power armors and shit. Yeah. While the, the, the original Ooh. intention of the power armor is, like, this war machine, the American ideals, it's a satire, basically. And like in Fallout 3, the good guys that aren't really good guys before just wear it to save the day. It's like the, you know, yeah. theme, themes themes are completely shifted. It's kind of lame that they didn't just come up with their own original faction of like pre-war rem er, like military remnants. Yeah, kind of. For yeah. 3. Like, I, I understand they wanted to be stuff safe. But, like, it's not how you get good writing. Yeah. I don't even necessarily think the writing is to blame there. It's just boring. But it could have been written well. 
That's yeah. just Bethesda nowadays not very good at writing. <laughs> no, I mean, just using the same thing over and over again is kind of bad writing when the story has already reached its logical conclusion. I guess, I mean, I mean, but I don't I mean, necessarily like, think that would have 100% resulted in bad writing. It could have been good. I mean, Bethesda, Bethesda, Bethesda themselves are just bad at writing, like Starfield. That, that one is also a clusterfuck, and it's not even tied to Fallout or... You know, they're already established IPs. Yeah, they. I think they retconned it, like, after the fact. So, like, some events are true, and some are false, and some never happened, and that's weird. I, honestly, I don't think, like, Fallout has a canon in the first place. It, it has a like, very, very like, loose for tactics, canon. Everyone just kind of, you know, <laughs> everyone just kind of pretend that it doesn't exist. At all, Fallout I don't, is I don't such think a they long pretend. and convoluted series that it has like multiple sets of canon. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't think they pretend it doesn't exist. I think they genuinely don't. Most people doesn't like don't know it exists. In the same way, I think as Bethesda probably know about it, but no, just choose yeah. not to talk about it. Yeah, to make no, it I mean, I mean, like the and average person know. does. Yeah, the it, average it's... person does not know shit about yeah. tactics and probably doesn't even know about the potential of a Brotherhood of Steel. Yeah. Not, yeah. It's not like they actively ignore Brotherhood of Steel. It's that they don't know Brotherhood of Steel is even a thing that exists. Yeah. I don't even think Brother, er, not Brotherhood of Steel, that one was garbage. I don't even think Tactics was that bad. It was well, yeah, worse than the other two. Well, yeah, Tactics isn't awful. It's just weird because it's not, a, it's not yeah. what every other game was. But it all not only was it not what every other game was, it, but it still is kind of obtuse in design in the sense it's not like not very easily approachable, like say Fallout 3. It's definitely worse than the others. Yeah. The, the, Both new and old. Honest, honestly, like how much of a clusterfuck its development is like very, very well uh, documented at this stage. Like there are like head honchos and everything, like yeah, gave speeches about it. Yeah, tactics is weird. I know we're playing. It's not it, bad, but I it's don't not think good. I, will. I think most people haven't played it. <laughs> I have it, but I haven't played it. Tactics is one of those games where you've only played it if you've played every Fallout game. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, no, I think there's more tactics players than Brotherhood of Steel players. Oh uh, well, definitely. But I feel like most people who have tried tactics were also curious and felt like playing Brotherhood of Steel just for the hell of it. Actually, no, uh, you are right, Brotherhood of Steel isn't a real game, so... <laughs> oh, yeah, true. What? Brotherhood of Steel? What? I don't like this outfit, it's so shiny. <laughs> well, it's got, it's because they haven't accounted for whether or not someone is inside or outside, it just, it's raining, they must be wet. What they're trying to... to do with it is just make it very simplified, and it works. Yeah. It is very simplified. Yeah. I think it's good as a skill system if you're not looking for, like, an RPG, but more a shooter with RPG elements. But yeah. if you want to go it for, like, RPG. more of an RPG, this this doesn't work. But as a shooter with RPG element. Like, That's this is kind of... I really wish... I really wish Bethesda I, would just give up on trying to even portray themselves as RPGs and yeah. just make shooters. You know, I... The way I view Fallout 4 is kind of like how I view Payday 2. Like, it's okay. a, it's primarily <laughs> a... Like no, no, but... No, do you understand what I mean? It's primarily a shooter that has, like, RPG elements in the background. Yeah. Yeah. Like they're good RPG elements for the, to support the shooter, but if but if you compare it to an actual RPG, it doesn't work. Yeah, 